Hello everyone, this is Zebo and welcome to today's Indie News video. So we have come to the time of the week again and tomorrow is the update for Garden Tales Kera server and in today's video, we will run through the update notice and see what is to come in the upcoming patch for Garden Tales. Now, the first thing as usual is definitely the addition of the new hero and this new hero is Druid Kana, so a Druid kind of character. So as usual, I'll leave down her kit in the description right over here somewhere on the right hand side so you guys can see what are the translations about but she's the first unit with the transformation mechanics so she will transform into a tiger and according to the translation i think the pattern of the tiger is talking about a defense debuff because over here they mentioned that the pattern of the tiger does not overlap with the pattern of tinia or the demon queen so demon queen is probably talking about lilith so this means that she will apply a defense debuff and this defense debuff do not stack with Tinia nor Lilith's Sigma, right? So that's something that I think we can look forward to. And she's a basic unit, a basic warrior. So her overall kit seems very brawly and she's probably gonna be like a Rina unit from what I can tell. It's just that I'm not too sure whether or not transforming will affect her overall stats or whether or not it just applies the special ability over here. So that's something which I cannot confirm, but we'll wait until the official release to do more about this Druid Kana. But it's a new mechanic, so I'm excited to try her out. And let's move on to the next part of the patch. Moving downwards, a new equipment for her. So a new Druid stuff. But I think we have a lot of stuff already. And by now, if you have completed all your collection, you should be able to get a plus 10% attack just off your stuff alone. And they added story replay for Row 7 and Row 8 itself. So as usual, nothing much to talk about. New Camazon Land Season. So reprinted artifacts over here so stalkers glasses outlaws mask i think we've seen all this before already right heavy weapons carrier increasing attack prideful combat pens peacemaker sherry's badge okay so all these have been seen before nothing new to be honest there isn't really like a new artifact over here and they'll be removing all these different artifacts so yep as usual i'm not really into camazon so i won't touch on too much unless there's something new to it so one type of curse is remove, okay, right, and be reproduce pie from hell. So they, they sort of like, you know, make it such that pie from hell reduces less skill damage. Okay, floating labyrinth expansion. So this is tower horizon increase. So the max number of floors for tower horizon increase to 61 floor. So if you're a tower of horizon player, this is definitely good news for you. But if not, yep, I guess the next piece of new is probably bigger. So added and improved Japanese voice. So I think this is one question which a lot of people actually ask whether or not the JP server voice acting will come over to the global server. And I guess, yes, they are slowly porting over some of the Japanese voice. So the Japanese voice of some heroes has been improved. The Japanese voice actor for Karina and May has been changed from Ina Ayahara to Mai Fuchigami. So like I think it's just a change of voice actor and they're adding in the voice acting from the Japanese server. So I think it's good, right? So added some Japanese voice for other heroes. So Arabelle, Tinia, Bianca, Lan, Lupina, Vishuvek, Bari, and Marina. So these are all the heroes within the JP server right now. And we can look forward to more Japanese voice to be ported over from the JP server to the global server. So that's something that is definitely exciting because you have newer voices for your character. You can change the in-game voice for your arena, for your story sake. So that's definitely good news. Okay, so moving downwards, we have the Halloween team for the floating castle, Heaven Ho. So this team was already here last year. So I think it should be the same team. I think in fact, it has been applied to the global server already. So nothing new about it. And Quad map, so change of quad map, okay. Added new collection, which is a uh, Kana's weapon, okay. Other bug fixes and improvements, okay. So let's look whether there's anything big. Right, make so that each player's representative hero image is displayed when chatting in co-op, okay. Minor one, right? So you have your picture when you chat in co-op room. Issue where the amount of gold obtained when clearing level 85 gold dungeon with two star was small okay that is i'm not too sure because i clear most of my dungeons with three star but okay so uh beginner's mission order corrected mm, okay so there isn't really like anything major over here so let us move on so new product unique hero growth for kana new packages okay okay 1100 page gems okay limited time summoning package special discount package okay okay 
Halloween package. Okay, so usually, right, this kind of event special package has a lot of value. So we have the Halloween Awakening Stone package, 15 Legendary Awakening Stone, and 100 Awakening Dungeon Boxes. So maybe a good um, package if it's a low price, right? So we have the Halloween Premium Summon package. So a total of 10,000 paid gems. 100 summons controller and one epic limit break hammer so this is probably the more expensive package right the hundred dollar plus package but um this package usually is very worth it right based on the price as well as the payout so i'm looking forward to see the price and if it's low price somewhere between the 50 to 60 range i think it's really very affordable and next one we have the new event so pick up summon banner so at the point of recording this video there isn't any information for who is within the pick up summon but do not worry about that because as usual i'll make the everything you need to know about the upcoming patch so from there you guys will know what the heroes to come in the upcoming video so stay tuned for that as well so we have the bingo board event next okay nothing new probably better rewards hopefully better rewards right so we have the guild rate prison break with kana being the banner girl meteor excavation which starts from 23rd october to 29th october so red is from 30th october right right after meteor excavation so right now we are having the guild conquest and then meteor excavation and then guild red so that is probably the schedule and next one costume rotation addition of the new super costume so i'll be including the design of this super costume on the screen right here it's a really really nice design by the way it has the very demure veronica look and there's a stint of sexiness in it and i really love the design and i hope i can get it on my own in that account because i made a veronica in that account and i can run her within the arena itself so i'm looking forward to it they also have new hero costume collection. So we have Centilia's costume, Halloween costume. We also have Kana's costume and the return of the different Halloween costumes. So if you haven't completed your Halloween costume collection, no, do remember to buy these costumes because this costume will offer you a book knowledge set. So it's really, really good. Check out your different collection set, whether or not you have gotten them and do remember to buy them if you haven't yet. So other than that, we also have the return of many different other costume sets. So these are like reprints many, many times already. So I shall not talk too much about it. And a new Druid staff. Okay. Pumpkin basket. And that's basically it for the equipment part. And yep, that's it for this video. Thank you very much for tuning in. As usual, the update will be tomorrow. So stay tuned for the patch tomorrow for the new hero as well as the different things to come for the update. And I'll stream it on my channel itself. Do remember to like and subscribe in order to see more contents from this channel and i'll see you guys again in my next video bye guys